Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day five. It is almost seven o'clock, and it is a nice Friday morning. Um, it looks like it's going to rain tomorrow. The traveling merchant is in town. Ooh, and uh, my luck is not the best today. I like these mods because they sort of uh, streamline the whole viewing the TV thing that I've been doing, which there's nothing else to report from there. So, yeah, let's head on out. Ah, this is when I get my cat. See, I knew that I choose, chose the orange one. You see this cat here? Meow. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? I absolutely do. I would not even hesitate to say no. Yes, 100%. But guys, you know the theme. It's a citrus farm. And it's an orange cat. I mean, I mean, you got it, right? Well, little orange, you'll be a good kitty now, okay? I will take the best care of this cat. I will worship this cat. All right, ooh, looks like my parsnips are ready to harvest. Thank goodness, because I need more money. And one thing that I do recognize in my past mistakes is I am saving up for the backpack, but at the same time, that means I didn't buy more seeds to plant so um we're gonna it's it's a rough start but we're gonna get there guys hello brooke my name is susan lewis told me you're a new farmer in town i'm trapped on my farm in the mountains so i can't say hi in person hopefully the mess jojo made will be cleared out soon because i'm going a little stir crazy can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up susan oh my goodness susan i hope that you're okay build a well robin here Da, 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 da. A lot of scattered stone. Oh, uh, 75 stones and a thousand G for a well. That could make my watering a little bit easier so I don't have to go to the river every single time. Uh, to our value. Ew, ew. Jojamar, I did not subscribe to spam. I will be filing a complaint. All right, so let's see. I have 16 parsnips, but I'm pretty sure I need one of them for a spring crop, if that is what the spring crop is going to be. Um, so I'm just going to, for now, just put one in the chest. I'm taking it some dandelion, this dandelion with me. Because I know that I'm going to find Caroline and I'm going to give her a gift. Alright, I think I'm going to do a little bit of farm clearing. Uh, and then I will go to Pierre's to see if I can afford that backpack upgrade. See you in a bit. I just noticed that my journal, uh, is kind of flickering right now. So, got a hundred three from getting started. Cool. Got to build a coop and reach farming level one to craft a scarecrow. Alright, those are good next objectives. You know, I should really also upgrade my axe soon because this is taking a long time to chop down these trees. But to upgrade my axe, I need more copper, which I don't uh, currently have access to. I can't finish watering these. I'm too tired. Wait a second. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so slow. <sighs> okay, uh, since this is going to take me a little bit, I am going to Pierre's to immediately sell these and um, get the backpack. Oh my goodness, I'm going so slow. I might need to eat one of these. Okay guys, I did have to eat a parsnip. Oh, and I noticed this in my last playthrough. I forgot a leak that was over here. <laughs> oh yes, Oh, shorts. Wow, thanks a lot for pulling me out of there, new friend. Trash cans can really be tricky, you know. Did that cat just talk? Someone had another trash can mishap, I see. They can't sound the same way. Yes, yes I did. Well, come over here and let me clean you off. Ah, so cute. You taste like old tea leaves. They were so scurny. What does that say? Scrungy? <laughs> what word is that? They're talking. Yeah, Brooke, get it together. You're seeing talking cats, it's normal. A dream come true, even. You must be the new farmer. Please allow me to introduce ourselves. I'm Jean, and this is Jorts. We are, I suppose you could call us, freelance assistants. We aim to help those in need of us. These are unusual names. How are you talking? Unusual names, Brooke. Heh, <laughs> I do wish mine were more distinctive, actually. No one will ever confuse Jorts with someone else. So what's your name? Can we be friends? I'm very friendly. Ah, uh, Brooke, is it? I'll remember that. Thank you, Jean. Hi, Brooke. It's nice to meet you. Ah. Okay, Mischief, let's get going. We're on to Jojamart duty. 
Okay. Huh? We're talking with the workers about forming a union. <laughs> if there's a local farmer collective, you might want to look into that. <laughs> okay. Talking cats? And they're pro-union? I wonder if anyone else in town knows about them. Whoa, who are you? Hello? Excuse me, wait. You're walking awfully fast for an NPC. Come back. <laughs> hello? Yazabel? Why, hello. I can tell that you're new here. Mm hmm My name's Yazabel. What's yours? Nice to meet you, Brooke. I do hope you have a great stay here. I hope so, too. Thank you. You're in my way to pet Dusty, though, so, um... Are you, uh... Oh, I don't have time for this. Yes. Back, 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 back. Hello, Pierre. Are you interested in my parsnips? Thank you. Got it. Okay, great. Okay, so I ended up buying two kill and three potato. Um, hopefully that will not bite me in the butt, but we'll see. Hey, Sterling. Let me guess your parsnips were ready today. How did you know? Are you psychic? The spring scenes are right down the aisle. You're doing such a good job, Sterling. Keep it up. Oh, hello, Rodney. Gus told me Sterling might be having too much fun these days with his buddy Shane. Oh, I'm not judging. I was a dumb kind once, too, if you can believe it. I can believe it. Don't, don't worry. I, I kind of believe it, yes. I was passing by the Jojo Mart the other day when I'm sure I heard a cat talk. When I turned around, those two wild cats were staring at me in silence. I got scared and ran away. You got scared? Aww. It's okay. They're just cats. Excuse me, madam. You're still occupying the space I need to go to. <sighs> Emily, what's up? Oh, Jorts and Jean? They're very special cats, aren't they? Of course all cats are special. Of course they are. Yes, you are so right. Granny, hello! George and Jean are such sweet cats. Sometimes I give them a little salami as a treat. Don't tell George, though. Of course I won't. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, hell, wait, hello? Who are you? Come back. Hi, um, the name's Jacob. I am Stardew Valley's mobile vet. Pleased to meet you. Holy, hello. Hello. Jacob, is it? <laughs> well, I just uh, I just so happened to have just adopted my cat. His name is Orange. Uh, he's gonna help me build my citrus empire. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm holding up trap. Wait, yeah. Bye, bye, Bible. Hey, Vincent. Jorts and Jean are really cool. Want to know a secret about them? Don't tell the adults, but they can talk. I, I am an adult, and yes, I've heard it. Sometimes when my mom had too much to drink, George and Dean escort her home to make sure she gets there all right. Oh my god, how nice of those cats. They're like her little guardian angels. Aw, how sweet. Hey, Jess. Hi. George is so nice. One time I fell and scraped my knee, and George looked until it felt better. That doesn't sound sanitary. Did you tell your parents? When I told Aunt Marie, she made me scrub it clean, though. No. Yeah, good. Gee, good. Hello. Hi, I'm Eloise, but you can call me Ellie if you like. Oh my goodness, hello! You're the one that sent me the letter in the mail. You're so cute. Look at the flowers. Aw. You're the new farmer, right? Yes, that's me. Nice to meet you. Ugh. Okay. That orange cat is smart enough to get into my trash can no matter what I do but not smart enough to get out. Yeah, they are kind of silly, aren't they? Jeez. Hey, Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Yes, hello. You dropped off my cat this morning? I don't have to worry about rats nearly as much th that Jean visits my farm. And George is a sweetie. Jazz adores him. Yeah, they are really cute, huh? Yoink. And you know what? I'm gonna go get that sword that I saw in the first episode. All right, bada bing, bada boom. I'm picking up things. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Daffodil, I'll take that. All right, time to go home. I am not having a fun time in this forest, guys. I am very lost. I don't know if I'll be able to plant my seeds. I will plant them, but I don't know if I'll be able to water them. Okay, all right, I did it, guys. Um, and I'm back to being 
exhausted. I have zero energy. <gasps> Hello, Orange. Oh, no, I didn't, no, Frederick, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Okay, okay. Ah, I love you too, buddy. All right, Ugh. good night, Frederick, good night, Orange. Hey, would you look at that? I leveled up in farming. All right, let's go. All right, 200, that's not bad. Okay, good morning, everyone. As predicted, it's raining. Oh, I forgot to go to the traveling merchant yesterday. Uh, it's okay, I wouldn't have been able to buy anything anyway. But uh, yeah, so let's pet orange. Ah, I love you. It's a little luck day today. Cool. And nothing else on TV. One other parsnip is ready. Cool. All right. So I'm for sure, for sure, going to go see Caroline today. But for now, I'm going to continue with uh, just clearing out some space. Ooh, I love the spooky fog. Oh, I gotta go up to Grandpa's shrine as soon as I can, I guess, just to say what's up. I've whittled down my energy again, which was dumb because I need to plant stuff. Oh, actually don't need to water stuff, so that's gonna be okay. We're gonna go to Pierre's and grab some seeds. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, ma'am. I haven't seen you around here before. Philip, hi. Nice to meet you, I'm Philip. I work as a physical therapist for some individuals in the area. I'll see you around. Oh, you're a physical therapist? Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I mean, I work on a farm all day. I could really use. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, Dusty. You gave Dusty many pets. Of course I did. Abigail, wait. Abigail! I love listening to Jean's stories. She's so smart. I have to be careful to wash my clothes when I get home, though. Dad's super allergic. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, Caroline, Caroline, hey, 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 oh, hey, Caroline, hey, how are you? Have a, have a daffodil. Oh, goodness, are you sure? Yes, of course, of course. I see Abigail with a couple of cats every now and then. They seem quite unusual, don't they? Yeah, I mean, one of, they support unions. Maybe you should talk to Pierre about it. Oh, hey, farmer, what's up? Don't mind me, I'm kind of hungover. Again? Do you ever stop drinking, man? You should try hanging out at the saloon on Friday sometimes. Most of the town hangs out in there. I even get Henry to come out with me sometime. Oh, I'd love to meet Henry. I did see his room, and I understand he has a dog. Cool. Hey, Pierre, what's up? The cat's a, a chew. I get allergies just thinking about it. Sorry, I probably have cat hair on me. Oh, I can't fish. I have no energy. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I haven't said hello to Sophia in a while. Let me see if she's here. Yes, hello. Um, hello. Hi. Oh, I have an artifact to give to Gunther. I should probably go do that. Oh, hey, Louis. Talking cats? Don't be ridiculous, Brooke. Cats can't talk. And they certainly can't bully you over passing anti-corporate ordinances. I don't know, man. They had some good points. The library is one of Pelican Town's greatest features. It's funded with the taxes we collect from local businesses. Cool. All right, a sword. Hmm. I feel like I should go over here. Nice. I got some bread. That'll help me when I'm too tired to do anything. And some seaweed. Nice. Whoa. Pelican Town, date 41719XX, built in recognition of Stardew Valley's elegance. Oh, I, I agree. And I'll take those daffodils and a level up. Hell yeah. <gasps> Whoa, a whole pink cake? I'll take it. Those two neighborhood cats really like visiting my grandparents. Grandma really seems to love them, so they must be good company. Yeah, I wonder why. Hey there, came to pet Dusty? I already pet him, but yes. Hey, Pam. Those two cats? I always slip to my leftovers. They're real sweethearts. Sometimes I even think I hear them cheering me on or comforting me. That is so true. Hey, Leia. There's something almost magical about those cats, isn't there? I swear I've heard them talk before. Yeah, they do. Am I the only one that they talk to? <laughs> Evelyn prides herself on decorating the town square. Oh, she does such a good job of it. Hey, Shane. Is it just me, or is those cats kind of weird? I feel like the little one is particular watches me a lot. Yeah, because we're all worried about you. 
Oh, and guys, there's one thing that I do have to mention. Uh, one of my friends has pointed out to me that uh, strawberries aren't citrus. Um, and I probably knew that, uh, but I uh, just... Uh, so let's just say this is going to be like a citrus slash fruit theme farmed. Uh, you know, we're just going to look over this. Ooh, the mines. Ooh. Spooky. All right, let's see how far I can get in these mines. Oh no, cutscene first, of course. I was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm going to take care of some of those monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time. I recognize that look in your eye. Is it beauty? Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight or my skill with the sword quite yet. Take this weapon. It may not look like much, but it's embedded with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters in here. I have a sword already, though. And it looks way better than this one. You received a rusty sword. Cool, thanks. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Yes, mysterious eye patch man. Oh, I am completely exhausted. I can't do this now. What am I talking about? All right, this will have to be a task for another day. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, time to plant the, the scale. Cool. All right. Awesome. Well, that's really all I can do today. Let me sell the stuff I can. Any hoodle. Um, 9.30 seems like a good time to turn in. I'm going to move this in front of the fireplace. Ah, nothing like a good old fireplace to warm you up after a long night's work. Well... Time to hit the hay. Hey, level two foraging. Cool. All right, 235, not that bad. Good morning, everyone. Let's see, it, today's recipe is stir fry. Uh, the traveling merchant is here. It's Lewis's birthday and the day is in my hands. Cool, oh, the journal's also yelling at me. Explore the mines. Okay, so let's learn that recipe. Greetings, it is I, the queen of sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish is stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil. Make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. You learned how to cook stir fry. Cool, I can't wait till I have a kitchen. That'll be cool. Alrighty. Hi, Brooke. I just heard you moved the, from the townsfolk, so I wanted to officially welcome you to the valley. My name is Mia, and I'm one of your fellow neighbors. Why don't you come over sometime? Sterling, Henry, and I live together in East Scarp, and we'd love to have you. I love having guests over for lunch, but I'm sure that you're very busy, so I've enclosed a tree for you. Hope to see you soon, Mia. Oh, what? Bear pancakes? How sweet, but I'm pretty sure I've already met Mia. Dear Farmer Brooke, you might need some space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Thank you, Robin. The day is in my hands, huh? Well, I feel like that's on, that means I have to go to the mines. That means I have to go to the mines. Here, kitty kitty. Have some delicious water. I love you. All right, we're gonna go to the mines, but I'm gonna stop and see Caroline first to give her this daffodil. Ooh, cutscene. <gasps> yes, we get to start doing the community center. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. Stop talking about yourself, Lewis. This is Pelican Town's community center, or what's left of it anyways. It used to be the pride and joy of this town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather just sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Yeah, they're always on that ticky talk thing, you know? But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something that stopped me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a JoJo membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. It won't be me, Lewis, I promise. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. Huh? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. 
You would let children play in here unsupervised? Ha! Ah! Oh my god! Ch what the heck? What? What's the matter? Are you ill? No, I saw something over there. It was it was green and and sh apple shaped. You saw something? Her. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Are you gaslighting me? Oh my god. Man, this farmer's crazy. Is what he's probably thinking. You're worrying me, Brooke. I'm not crazy, I swear. Look, I think I'm just gonna head home. I need some lunch. I'm not crazy. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch the rat if you have some extra time. Hey, Claire. I really don't want to work today, but Morris said I have to. Mood. We're very short-staffed. You should form a union. I sometimes take the bus here to check out books from the library. Oh, cutie. Hey. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Doing what? My guy, you're just standing here. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Yeah, I also think that it's interesting. You gave Dusty many pets. Whoa. I can't read that. Oh, hey, Rodney. I had a breakthrough while working on my novel last night, so tonight I'll celebrate by doing absolutely nothing. Isn't that the best feeling? Sure. It is. Hey, Linus. Jean comes to fish with me sometimes while Jork keeps us company. She's a good listener and he's a good talker. They work well together. Here, would you like a daffodil? This is great gift, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I gotta go find Caroline before I do anything else. You know what, it's Sunday, so it's the start of the week, so the gifts reset, so I'm just gonna wait and head straight to the mines. Excuse me. All right, let's do this. Hell yes, I got an amethyst and a cave carrot. Amazing, what's this? Yeah, it's topaz, cool. Oh, another amethyst, let's go. Level five. No, I missed a quartz, I didn't mean to, ah. Uh. I'm gonna have my cake. I'm gonna have my cake and eat it too. Ooh, do I wanna have luck too? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, gross. Gross all over me, icky. A carving knife? <laughs> what? That slime had a knife on him. Oh, I gotta reach level 40 now? Jeez. It's a lot to prove myself. Oh, there's no rocks in here. That's suspicious. That's weird. Level 10, what's my prize? Boots, with the fur, with the fur. Nice, I'll take those leather boots. Looking kind of sharp, eh? All right, well, I'm low on energy, so I'm gonna leave. Oh, hey, Merlin. Sword, dagger, or hammer. The weapon you choose dictates the fighting style. I chose sword. I prefer swords. Short range or daggers gets me too close to monsters for comfort, and hammers slow me down. See, you get me. An owl! Who? Who? Who do you think you are approaching my airspace? Okay, time to tally up today's spoils. I have just a smidgen left of energy, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more farm clearing until I'm exhausted. All right, guys, it's bedtime. Aw, orange, keeping my bed warm for me. Woohoo! Way to go! It's great. Good morning. Good morning, Frederick. You've got mail. And worms! Wizard summons. Ooh, my sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you come and pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the Forest Lake in Stone Tower. I may have some information concerning your rat problem. 
Rasmodius. I'd love a stationery. Quest to slay slimes. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You got the adventurer spirit. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned a place in the adventurer's guild. Can do. <gasps> a chicken statue! I have so much to give to Gunther today. I don't have any seeds, do I? No, I'm gonna go buy seeds though. With all this cash money I have, can't forget to feed orange. And off we go. Yoink. Yoink. Hello. Good day, Brooke. I've been pretty busy today. What about you? It's only 7.50 and you've already been busy? No, no, I've only just woke up. <laughs> Demetrius is in need of a daffodil. Yes, I have that. All right. Oh, I can't get in. Let me in. Let me in. Hey, Alex. Did you know I was the all-star quarterback in high school? It's true. I totally believe it. See this little star on my jacket here? That proves it. Oh, you got the receipts. Hey, Dusty. You give Dusty many pets. The cats like to slip in for scraps every so often. Jean's even smart enough to open the door on her own. In shorts, never saw a cat that liked yams so much. <laughs> I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I, I'm trying to know you, though. S what? You'll say hi to him. <sighs> All right. Let's see how it is. Abigail, how are you? Oh, hey. Taking a break from work? Actually, I'm here to buy stuff for work. Can you move? <sighs> eh. I have to go talk to your mom because she's a cool lady. Oh, my goodness. Are you sure? Yes, of course. Oh, Brooke, this is embarrassing. I threw one of your saps you sold us into my compost bin. Now the whole thing smells horrendous. Where did you find that thing again? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how much money we're gonna be able to make before summertime though. Yoink, yoink. Hey, Robin. Don't tell Demetrius, but Sevi was talking to those two cats the other day and get this, they were talking back. Demetrius did, would not believe me though. Uh, upgrade house? 10,000, 10,000, uh -huh. 450 pieces of wood. No, not yet. Thanks, though. Demetrius, I have a delivery for you. Yoink. Hey, so you saw the notice I posted. Looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Talking cats? Ah, I see you're making a joke. Talking cats just isn't scientifically possible. They don't have the adequate vocal cords or tongues to properly are to properly enunciate. Like I can't. Jeez. Oh, I gotta go meet the wizard. Let me go to the mines for a little bit, and then I'll go meet the wizard. Down to the pits I go! <gasps> yes! I got a magnet ring! That's what I've been waiting for. Thank you. Okay, another floor down. Let's see if I can go to see the wizard. I hope it's not gonna be too late. Hey, Carmen. Did you know that fish do not have vocal cords? I wish my ex-husband didn't have them either. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Cauliflower Man. All right, here we are. Ah, come in. I already forgot what he sounds like. I am Magnus Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Meteorary between physical and eternal. Master of the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred ch- Ah, uh, you get the point. And you, Brooke. The only one whose arrival I've long foreseen. You've been- you've been spying on me? Should I, like, be concerned? Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Whoa! It's the apple dude! Junimos. He looks like he's in pain. Is he okay? You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Because you keep them in orbs. <laughs> and it doesn't look like that's very comfortable. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Her, you found a golden scroll written in ancient unknown languages. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Whoa. Alright. Whoa. I found a note. 
The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the German owls, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the truth of nature of this scroll. Herm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff. Sniff. Wow. Aha! My cauldron is bubbling with the ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, camel top toadstool. Can you smell it? I don't know if I want to be inhaling this f herb mushroom vapor, sir. Here, drink it up. Let the essence of the forest permeate through your body. Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. It, it seems like it's a little intense for me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh boy, I don't look too good though. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I uh, whoa, dude. D uh, dude. What is happening? Whoa. Dude, this guy just has drugged me. <laughs> You've gained the power of forest magic. <laughs> now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junima Scrolls. Okay, that was weird. I was drugged and then kicked out. Well, I guess it's time to go home now. <laughs> You know, it's still relatively early, so I'm gonna go to the saloon to say hi to some villagers. Oh, hey, Marnie. I just love animals, Miss Brooke. Treat them kindly and we'll become friends, I'm sure. Of course. Oh, cutscene. Huh? Hiya! Yo! Don't tell me that orange cat ended up in the garbage again. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, farmer. I've never spoken to you before in my life, but hello. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and see if Jort's cat had gotten in there? It's making an awful racket. Thanks. Make sure you seal it up real tight so he doesn't get in again. Hiya, Brooke. Linus and I were going dumpster fishing. Oh. It's dumpster diving, Jort's. Jorts helps me find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to the waste if I don't take it. It's like exploring, except nothing's dangerous. Just scrungy. That's that word again. Scrungy. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Brooke. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go on home. I'll make sure George and I keep the noise down from now on. You can tell him you sealed it up nice and good. And you go to home to Jorts. Jeans is waiting for you. Okay. Wait. I thought it was Jorts in my trash cans. Turns out, just you, huh? Well, I'm not sure if it's to your taste, but I've got some fresh baked fish here. You can have it. Go on, take it. Find anything good? Hey! Hey! You can't have a negative reaction to me going through the trash. Well, lively in here. Hey, Sterling. Farmer! You're helping rebuild the community center. That's so wonderful I could just kiss you. <laughs> um, uh, no thanks. I don't know why those cats come around here so much. It's not like I feed them. Yeah, because you're cold and you're heartless. <sighs> Have I told you Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? Oh my God, you could not be any different. You're so nice and she's so pleasant. It's a good day for foraging. You can make some decent coin. I know my way around cinder snap forest like the back of my hand. Oh, please, could you teach me? Because I am getting lost in there way too often. All right, that was a successful day. Hey, level two in mining. I can make staircases now and combat. I can create a sturdy ring now and bug steak, <laughs> whatever that is. Not bad. Those earth crystals were good. Good morning. It is a feeling lucky day today, so you know what that means. The mine. And I've entered into the Adventurer's Guild, so maybe I'll find out more about that today. Um, no recipes or anything on the fortune. Time for the mundane farm exercises. All right, kitty kitty. Okay, before we go to the mines, I'm going to crack open the geodes I have and then give all the stuff that I can to Gunther. And hopefully we'll see Caroline. 
Uh, hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's up? Can I play on your farm? Yes, you. I would love to have you over to play on my farm. Has has a lot of just trees and stuff, but. Well, it's good that Sterling didn't make a mess all over the place, but Shorts and I use those trash cans sometimes, you know. Yeah, I know. How rude and inconsiderate, right? All right, let's see what this bundle is because I do have them different. Fall construction. Hmm, I feel like that's the same. Huh, maybe I'll have to check on that mod. And daffodil and the exotic. All right. Off to a good start. Hey, Kai and I are both bored. Yeah, same. Can we play on your farm? Yes, yes. Promise would be good. Please? Pretty please? <laughs> I would love to have you there. Oh, hello, who are you? Sometimes I miss how busy I used to be back in Suzu City at my corporate job. I have so much free time here in the valley. It allows me to focus on my hobbies, but sometimes I can just get lost in my own thoughts. Uh-huh, I bet you have a lot of them too. I hope those two kitties have a good place to sleep at night. I considered letting them inside, but I just don't have time to take care of a pet, too. Understandable. Abigail? Ugh, I'm not in a good mood right now. Understandable. Have a good day. I've seen wild horseradishes in the forest. Do you like horseradish? Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts or food. Oh, everyone's coming in for Pilates. Hey, I just heard Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. I will certainly try, I promise. Oh, hey, Mia. It's very important doing our best to stay healthy. Thankfully, it's easy for me to eat fresh and organic with all the wonderful crops grown around the valley. I would absolutely love living in a place like this. You're so right. You should come over and have lunch with us one of these days. I would love to. Thank you so much for the invitation. Schniff. Schniff. I sense you've been spending some time at the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of that place. I've been in once, and stop sniffing me. <gasps> oh, Ian, uh, uh, um, do you like? Oh, do you do you, do you like geodes, Ian? I I I don't know. I need to give you something. I I don't have anything to give you. Um, uh, okay, I'll just talk to you. <sighs> hey, hey. What's up? Oh, uh, nothing. Just, uh, it's, a, it's a Tuesday. Sorry, I'm working on something right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Uh, uh, have a good day. <sighs> okay, to the museum. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Okay. I'm sure the two of you can become good friends one day. Since you're so interested in my husband, I'll let you in on a little secret. He really likes leeks. You can find him in the mountains this time of year. Thank you, Granny. Hello. Those two cats are always trying to sleep on my lap. Haven't the heart to show them off, though. Not like I'm getting up anyway. Aww. I, I, that's so cute. Am I going to interrupt a date, date or something? I'm tutoring the kids today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Thanks, Penny, for that. Oh, the talking cats? I've never heard them, but Seb and Abby have. I believe them. Good for you, Sam. They do talk. <laughs> Hello, Clint. Please take my rocks. Ooh, that looks like something I can donate. Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't have enough money to crack up the last one. Dang it. <laughs> New reward. Nice. Nice, nice, and the chicken statue. I feel like it, it deserves a place next to the sword. <gasps> Cauliflower seeds, and I have enough time to plant them too. Ah, oh, this is fantastic news. Yoink, a crockle, nice. And you know what, while I'm here, I might as well try my hand at fishing. I mean, Carmen's here. I could really go for a fried fish a la Ridge right now. I suck at this, I suck at this. Oh, a soggy newspaper. <sighs> uh, an autographed <laughs> Is that what these are? All of these? All of these are autographed photos of freaking Rodney? <laughs> 
They're everywhere. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yoink. Ooh, a Nautilus shell. Do I have to donate it? I do. Ah, oh, full party today, huh? That Jean is one of the smartest cats I've ever seen. Good fishing cat. Jorts, well, he's very gentle. Hey guys, uh, are we drinking responsible over here? I love the valley, but this place actually feels like home. Cheap booze, low ambience. If I close my eyes, it's almost like I'm back in Zuzu City. This is better, you live on a farm. Ian, he's, uh, he's here. Oh, he's coming towards me. Uh, 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 play cool, play cool. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, hey, Ian. Uh, oh, oh, did I, uh, did I already talk to you today? I guess so. I guess I, I, bye. Aw. Okay, back in the farm. Um, I'm going to get these kale seeds planted real quick, and then I'm going to do some farm maintenance since I still have energy. Oh, uh-oh. I forgot. I needed to go to bed. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't lose anything. Well, I passed out. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Let's see. I'm feeling lucky today, and it's Vincent's birthday. Okay. Well, hmm. I wanted to sell stuff last night, but I forgot. Uh, before I passed out. But that's okay. And, uh, it's day 10, so guys, I think I'm just gonna end the episode here. It's been great having you again. If you like me, why don't you consider liking the video, leaving a comment, or even subscribing. It really uh, lifts my spirits to see that I have some engagement doing this, because it just makes me feel like you guys are enjoying the content that I make. Um, but, you know, no matter what, I'll still keep making them. So, thanks again. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye!